Hello everybody, thank you very much for joining me for today's video to start your chair yoga journey here. So if you're looking for a gentle way to stay active, boost strength and feel more flexible, chair yoga is a perfect way to start. So let's start moving together and you are going to feel amazing. Okay, we're going to start in seated mountain. So a nice sturdy chair and you're going to sit up nice and tall. So no, I'm not going to lean back. You're going to have a nice sort of decent gap between you and the back of the chair. And just place your hands on top of your, your knees and sit up nice and tall. So imagine your shoulders are coming down away from your ears and it's like someone's got a string and they're pulling your head up. So your back is lovely and straight. This is so, so good for your posture. So just hold this for a moment. It's actually a very simple pose, but not an easy one because we tend to want to just relax. And it's just really good for our back to sit up nice and straight. And remember to breathe in and out through your nose. That's it, just take a moment. Okay, so we're going to start with a, a gentle raising of the arms and we're going to inhale as we bring them up. So nice and slow. Now, if you can only get to here or here, that's fine. Just go at your own pace. There's no pressure. There's no competition. You're just doing what feels good. Exhale them down. So nice and gentle. And again, inhale up. Remember, any sort of movement is so, so wonderful for you. So exhale down, just remembering exhaling as you come down and inhaling as you go up. Take them up again. And exhale. So. We've done two very basic things. We've focused on our breathing and we're sitting up nice and straight so you've got good posture. We're gonna do a side stretch now. So inhale both arms up again, nice and slow. And just bring the right hand down and hold onto your chair. You can hold the leg or the side of the chair and just lean over as far as is comfortable for you. So you'll feel a lovely stretch up the side of your body. Remember not to hold your breath, just Keep breathing and try not to let that arm roll forward, roll it back so you've got a nice straight line. And just reaching over with those, those fingers. That's it. And then slowly exhale as you bring it down. And then we'll inhale the other one up. And just lean again. And you just focus on actually feeling that stretch up the side of your body. And remember, just keep breathing and smiling. I always say keep smiling. It's great that you've shown up to do this for yourself. It's the, really the best thing you possibly could do. And inhale up and then exhale down. Okay, so we've had a nice side stretch. So your torso is starting to feel really good, hopefully. So we're gonna do a cat cow now. So this is gonna be for your, your upper back. So you know how a cat rounds its back. So you're gonna place your hands on your knees and you're gonna tuck your chin. So you're getting that lovely rounding in your spine. So you can come forward as far as is good for you. Tucking that chin and you exhale as you do this. And then for cow pose, you go the opposite way. So you're inhaling up. So you're taking those shoulders back, you take your head up towards the sky, you're opening up your chest, and then you're just gonna keep go going like that. So exhaling and rounding the back and tucking the chin. Lovely stretch. And then inhale back up. So nice and slow, open that chest, draw those shoulders back, and exhale again. Cat pose, round that back, bring those elbows forward. And then inhale back up. Open the chest. And exhale, one more cat. Tucking the chin. And then inhale up. And back 
to a neutral spine. So again, you're still sitting up straight, you're still sitting in that seated mountain pose. So we're gonna do a little rotation now of the torso. So place your hand on your left knee and grab the back of your chair if you can. So take that hand forward. If you've got a solid chair, then just grab the back there, but find a comfortable position. So one hand behind, the left hand on your knee, and I want you to lift up out of your lower back. So inhale up. So you're straightening that spine and then just exhale over your right shoulder. Now with your head, you can take your head round as far as is comfortable for your neck. Again, listening to your body, but as you do this, you'll feel a lovely stretch here across the chest. It's wonderful for your internal organs. It massages your internal organs, so it's great for your digestion. It's great for your back. Just keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. Breathe in and out through your nose. And slowly release back to the front. Twists are wonderful, they do, they feel so, so good. I'm hoping that already you're starting to feel the benefit. So, other side, left hand behind, and right hand on your left knee. Again, remember, lift up, nice straight back. So lifting out of the lower back and looking over the left shoulder. That's it, keep breathing, keep smiling. <laughs> and slowly release back to the front. Okay, we're gonna take the legs a bit wider now. So into, so you can come forward onto your chair like a squat pose. So imagine if you were standing up, you're squatting, you're, you're getting this lovely stretch in the inner thighs. Again, if you can only open your legs that far, that's fine. Gradually, with practice, and the more you do it, the more flexible you become the wider you'll be able to open them. But remember, it's not a competition. It's all about you feeling good. So, sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna do a little sort of side angle stretch. So we're gonna take that right forearm down onto our thigh and then bring that left arm up alongside our ear. So you're getting a, a lovely side stretch again, but a bit deeper than it was with the legs out in front. So you're getting a stretch in your inner thighs and you're opening up your hips as well. Again, make sure that arm's not coming forward. Roll that shoulder back and reach over as much as you can and don't hold your breath. That's it, breathe into all those joints and muscles. And then inhale up. And exhale down. Other side, forearm, left forearm on top of your thigh. Inhale, right arm up. That's it, use the breath, leaning over. That's it, lovely. Keep breathing. And slowly inhale up. Exhale down. And bring those legs back together. So we're gonna do like a little, a little seated sun salutation now. So a little bit of, bit of forward bending. Remember also, only come down to a point that's comfortable for you. Listen to your body. Inhale up. And then just forward, you're just folding, sort of hinging forward. And if you feel like you only wanna go down so far, just bring your hands down to your knees. If you can go down a bit further, then that's great. But listen to your body. Don't topple off your chair. So you're kind of bringing your chest down to your thighs. Tuck your chin, and then we're gonna inhale back to our knees. And then we're gonna just bring the chest forward. So it's like a cobra pose. And then we're gonna go back down again. And then we're gonna inhale all the way back up. Take the hands up. And bring them down. And we're going to do that again. Inhale up. Exhale forward. So folding down, remember, nice and gentle. Tuck your chin. And then that halfway lift. So we're going to come up to the knees and bring the chest forward. A little cobra pose. So you're opening your chest and drawing your shoulder blades together. 
And then we're going to go back down again. Slide those hands down. And then inhale all the way back up. And exhale down. So we've had a really, really good body stretch here, but we haven't done our legs and our feet. So we're going to do some ankle circles. So we're going to stretch out that right foot and we're just going to do eight circles one way. And then eight back the other. <coughs> And down. Other side, remember not to hold your breath when you're holding your leg out. Don't be, remember to keep breathing. And back the other way. So good for your ankles. Really is. Okay. And we're going to do some heel raises. So we're going to come up onto the toes and you'll feel those, those calf muscles tighten as you do. So down, so just bringing those heels up. Nothing too difficult, but it's something that we, <laughs> we don't do enough of. And obviously these muscles here are very important for, for keeping your balance and, and keeping them strong for when you walk so that you're less liable to trip. So we've got to look after those feet. We tend to neglect them ramming them into shoes and expecting them to always carry us around. We need to show them a bit of love. <laughs> we need to show our whole body a bit of love. So, okay. And also, while you've got your feet out there, I want you to just spread your toes. So just push them into the floor and just spread them out. It's really nice, as I say, again, they're all crammed up into shoes so much of the time. Just let them have a little, a little spread out and, and give them a wiggle. That's it, nice little wiggle. Okay, we're gonna do some toe lifts now. So we literally, it's a very small movement. Again, we're gonna push down on the heels and lift the feet up. So again, you're using these, these little muscles here. So we lift up. It's a very small movement, but a very important one. As you do, push down onto the chair and engage your core because you're, you're getting a nice bit of core strength here as well. You're tightening the body. That's it. You don't have to do too many, just a few. And remember, always feel free to take a rest if you need to. Okay. I'm going to do a nice hamstring stretch now. So we're going to straighten the right leg can come forward slightly on your chair. Make sure you've still got a sturdy base. We're going to engage that thigh and bring the toes towards us. As soon as you do that, you'll feel that hamstring stretch. And you just place your hands on the other knee. You can come forward as far as is comfortable for you. As you lean forward, you'll increase that stretch. So, so good for you. Again, if you get cramp or it aches, just relax it and then just come back to it. Listen to your body always. And release. Other side. So left foot forward, toes towards you. And engage that thigh. You can feel that thigh gets nice and tight. And then just lean forward. That's it. And release. Okay, I'm going to finish with... Um, figure four pose because it's really nice for your hips so if you can't get your foot right up there you can always pop a block or a book down or we'll just bring the foot up so far but I'll take you through it so initially we're just gonna use our hands to lift that right leg up you can hug it in hug that knee because we're just loosening it up just hug it in keep breathing try not to round your back keep that that posture going keep that back straight and then grab your foot and see if you can put it on top of that, that knee. So wherever's comfortable for you. So if you can't, just pop a block and just, because it, that movement, you're opening up that hip. So, and this is fine. You can hold on to your foot. 
can hold on to that knee and then sit up nice and tall. If you want to increase it, you can lean forward and apply a little bit of pressure or you can just sit up straight. As soon as you sit up straight, even this, with not moving it at all, you can feel that opening in that hip. So listen to your body. Keep breathing. Keep smiling. You're doing amazing. That's it. And release. So bring the leg up. Be nice and gentle. That's it. Sit up nice and tall. <clears throat> Take a break. And then we'll do the other side. Left leg up. Hug it in. So again, try not to slouch into it. Sit up tall. Bring the leg up rather than come down to the leg. As much as you can, hug it towards you. Keep breathing. Grab that foot. And place it on the opposite knee. Again, sitting up tall, hold that foot. A little bit of pressure if you wish, if not, just do your thing. Yeah, I can't stress enough how, how important it is to keep, we all know how important it is that, that old saying to use it or lose it. And we, you know, we tend to sit so much now that we need to, st even though we are still sitting, we need to keep moving, so. And slowly inhale back up. And lower that leg to the floor. So we're going to sit slightly back on the chair because we're just going to close our eyes and feel the effect of the stretches we've done so far. So just sit back in your chair this time. Hands in your lap or on your knees, whatever's most comfortable, and close your eyes. And breathe in and out through your nose. And tell me if you can feel that yoga tingle. Just stay here for a few moments, just savouring how you feel. Relax into it. And then very slowly and gently open your eyes. Just inhale your arms up. Bring the palms together and then exhale through the mouth as you bring them down. Down to your heart and namaste. And there we are, there's our chair yoga for today. So great job for taking time for yourself. You know, just doing these little movements couple if you could do it twice a day even better but you know even just once a day it's just going to make so much difference to you you know every little movement adds up so don't forget to leave me a comment let me know if you felt that yoga tingle and um, I have loads of other chair yoga videos so please feel free I'll leave the links to a couple up up here um, check them out but and let me know what you thought let me know where you're watching from and uh, yeah I'd love to meet you Thank you very much for watching and for practicing with me today and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.